uh, this is the entire agricultural industry coming together with uh, government to actually work on strategies for reducing emissions. And, uh, you know, we're clearly constantly saying that farmers actually want to, but they're mm. saying, where are my tools? And we've gone on about this calculator, and I'm very excited, as a Christmas present, there's been a calculator created by Lincoln University. So basically, uh, farmers can go in, they can put in their stock numbers, their fertiliser, fuel, etc., and then at the end it'll tell them how much area of forestry will actually offset that. Such so a breakthrough. I, it, well, actually, interesting, this was developed in 2008 when we were having the food miles debate, so this actually calculator was out there, existing. So This it, might show it, how green farmers are. Well, this is the thing. I put a challenge out there, I'll say a bottle of bubbly, which I know I'm not meant to give away things like oh, that. No, but we can go on. To the first farmer that gets on this mm. uh, and, and actually proves that they're zero carbon farming, and if there was a dairy farmer out there saying, I'm already zero carbon farming, wouldn't wouldn't that be great? I reckon that there would be plenty doing this anyway. Um, I think this government is struggling to come up with a, an equation that taxes um, the polluters, especially around farming, because I, I reckon they're struggling with this. They are. Oh, well, I mean, the thing is, is that there's so many scientific arguments out there on either side, yeah. and all of the industry groups is, are not climate change deniers. Yes. They're just saying, show us how to come up with what you want. Um, and so and next year's going to be a really interesting one, the start of early next year with the climate change bill coming out and things like that. So Farmers, yeah. Farmers may feel like they're the target. The, the transport sector's the one as well. Yeah, That's, well, the extra 50,000 cars, yes. where are you going to offset that? Um, but they're on the motorway right now. Oh, yes, Speaking yes, of calculators, remember the old FX82 calculator? Oh, good ones, yes. Yeah. If you write 58008 and turn it upside down, it spells <laughs> boobs. <laughs> <laughs> what about moobs? Is a man boobs? I'll see what I can do. You, we'll come back to that one. Hey, um, thanks Thank so much, you. Sarah. Um, so join Sarah and, to, um, and her host in the morning uh, with Carter's Tyres, 5 till 7, Saturday and Sundays.